I have to do better. And I did. At this point, it was 2020 and something shocked the world, COVID-19. All of my classes got canceled and the world basically stopped spinning. I had six months to do nothing, so I posted a Minecraft video every single day. I'm not even kidding. I was grinding and I loved it. During this time, I also hung out with my new high school friends a ton and got to experience a lot. I also had to do my med school interview online and that was so scary. This school only accepts 38 applicants into the program and knowing how stupid I was, I thought there was no way I could get in. Well, fast forward a few months, I ended up getting around 3,000 subscribers on YouTube after like 250 videos posted. And then one morning, I got a phone call. They told me I had been accepted into med school. Vi vet att vi är på väg att trycka på knappen, men vi behöver din hjälp. Vi har en bättre knapp, vi lovar. Precis i tid. Lyser den inte tillräckligt? Börja blinka. Fortfarande inte nog. Okej. Okay. Sergeant, du gjorde ditt bästa. De vet inte vad de missar. Nu återvänder vi till våra episka strider istället. Ascension WoW is a standalone World of Warcraft private server that reimagines WoW in a brand new way. Instead of choosing a classic character select, you'll instead take up the mantle of Hero. Mix and match spells and talents from any class in the game to forge your own unique champion. Challenge them against a classic Vanilla Plus setting with new original content. Discover 1,500 new abilities and talents. Team up with allies to conquer dungeons, raids, and battlegrounds. Explore new mechanics, new challenges, and entirely new game modes like the Mana Storm. An endless wildcard dungeon you can play solo or with friends. Anyone can play for free on Ascension, just by creating an account. If you've never played WoW before, you can experience the wonder of Azeroth for the first time. If you're a WoW veteran, you can use your knowledge to craft an insanely powerful hero. Explore Azeroth Reimagined. Forge your ultimate classless hero. Welcome to Ascension WoW. I literally cried tears of joy. I I was so happy. I was so proud to tell my mom and my girlfriend what I achieved. There were 800 interviews and out of 38 spots, I was chosen. That's a 5% chance. I finally felt like I wasn't a failure. Soon enough, I stopped making YouTube videos and focused 100% of my energy into school. I could not let go of this opportunity. I worked so hard and finished every course with over 90%. I was so proud of myself. My Adderall pills definitely helped a bit though. <laughs> I still make the occasional Bedwars videos here and there, but it was during the Christmas break of 2021 after my first semester finished when my YouTube dream finally came true. I got super sick of making Bedwars and PvP videos, so I made this video called I'm Changing My YouTube Channel. And I told my fans that I need to switch up my content to what I want to do and I don't care if you stay or not because I want to be happy with my content. All throughout 2013 to 2020, I basically only posted PvP videos on Minecraft and I always wanted to do survival let's play videos like the idols I watched when I was younger. So right after that video, I went on to post my first 100 days in hardcore Minecraft video. And I remember that video got 1000 views in the first day and I thought I went viral. Well, over the next 10 days, it gained more and more views, hitting 158,000 views. This was my most viewed video ever over the past 10 years of making videos, but everything completely changed when I posted my 100 days on one block video. This video absolutely blew up and it gained like 10 million views within the first month. And I went from 3,000 subscribers to 700,000 in just a few weeks. Huh? I can't even explain my reaction and how I felt. I was so, so happy. I remember this video blew up so fast that YouTube actually took the video down when it had 7 million views because they thought it was viewbotted or fake views. Then the news started spreading to my old friends that some guy named Kevin that they went to high school with went viral on YouTube. I was getting so many messages if this a cookie god guy was me and I just denied it all. I never wanted anybody to know. I'm a pretty laid back and low key guy so I still don't tell many people who I am and what I do. My mom didn't grow up with technology so they had no idea what I was doing and at first did not believe any of it was true. Remember I was still in school when all of this was happening. 
My healthcare program was very tough, but I had two options. Either I tried to balance both things because both of them are important to me. I loved respiratory school, but becoming a YouTuber was also my childhood dream. Or I completely drop everything and go 100% into YouTube. I chose neither. It was kind of a mix between the two. I thought to myself, I absolutely could not let go of this insane opportunity I had on YouTube, but it hurt to leave my program because I also worked so hard to get here and it was a big milestone in my life. By the time it was August, I had 1.5 million subscribers and I already worked so hard to build the cookie army, so I dropped out. And I didn't fail a single class either. <laughs> win-win my dad really did not want me to drop out though he wanted me to get a degree so he can show off to his family back in china that i had a degree but you've probably learned that i've been a rebel my entire life and i kind of just do what i want to do there's so much i can say about my youtube journey but some of you guys were probably along for the entire ride since the start of a cookie god and the cookie army so thank you again unfortunately though my girlfriend and i hit a few bumps along the road i was so focused on youtube and chasing my dreams that youtube became more of a priority than her and she was a little upset with that but that wasn't a problem for long we were so in love and one another's best friends i was so happy when she moved in with me at my parents house so we could hang out even more since i was usually too busy with my youtube videos to ever leave the house but all humans make mistakes and as you've learned i've made a ton throughout my life after a few up and downs a and i broke up in july of 2022 we dated for just under six years we split up on good terms and I still care deeply about her and pray she gets everything she wants in her life. For a whole year, my heart was broken. I felt no purpose in life. I was sad all the time and I just couldn't be home anymore because everything reminded me of her. So I eventually moved out when I was 21. It was a tough few months being alone with my thoughts, but today I learned that time really does heal and I'm happier than ever. I've come to realize that I'm happy we broke up. I learned so much about myself, experienced so much and matured a ton. Anyways, my relationship with my mom has improved so much and has never been better. I love her so much and I'll never hurt her again. I remember once A and I broke up, I started to hug my mom more and the smile on her face every time I asked for a hug was priceless. My parents are getting old. They're pushing their 60s. And I've tried so many times to retire them, but you know them Asian parents. They're so hardworking and reluctant to retire. Everything is going great in my life now. However, just a few weeks ago, my family and I got hit with some terrible news. My mom called me on the 19th of December and told me she had been diagnosed with cancer. I could not believe it and I just cried. She didn't want anybody to know so I didn't tell anybody except a few very close friends. But she gave me the permission to tell you guys because she loves you. You've changed my family's lives and we thought it was best to let the cookie army know. Thanks to you guys, we finally have enough money to where I can take my parents back to China so they can visit their families again. I'll be gone for another month. Paid for by the cookie army. My mom has always treated me with love even though at times it didn't seem like it. All she wanted was the best for me. I've experienced a lot throughout my life. Lots of ups and downs like you probably have. But the most important thing is that you learn from your experiences. Your mistakes doesn't make you a bad person. Understand that time heals. Chase your dreams and that you should probably go hug your mom. I continue to make my amends. I try to be a better person every day and I really hope you do too. I'm literally just a normal short Chinese dude with a micro phone and a cool dream job that came true thank you for everything there are only 2,000 signed posters for sale so if you want to celebrate this incredible milestone with me go check it out and i hope you weren't too bored with my life story i love you guys i'll see you soon